Zen's mowers. Today's video we are going to unbox and review this Ryobi 1600 PSI pressure washer. I picked this up at Home Depot the other day for $99 because I needed it to wash all of this equipment to get it ready to be sold. We got the baby buck here. It's going to slice this tape open. I got my water hooked up over there. I just got to run an extension cord because this is an electric pressure washer. Just get this baby buck in here and slice this thing open. Mm. There we go. I think I can pry this box from here now. Of course, when you open it, there's your instructions there. Hopefully I didn't cut these, but anyway, we're going to get right into this. Let's just set these over here for now. And here's our small compact pressure washer. I got the wand and everything, all the tips, the cord. Anyway, I'll be back once I get this area cleaned up and get it set up. Okay, so we're going to join our two halves of the wand together and go over the wand real quick. These notches here, they go inside of this barrel and there's a, sl a slot for them. You'll line the notches up and then you will turn this in this direction. Once you, and you have to be making sure you push it back all the way. And you take your hand and turn it this way so it locks in place. The tip we are going to be using is the low pressure soap tip. I already have my soap hooked up to the pressure washer which I will show you. And this, this operates like an air compressor. It's a quick release wand. Just makes you make sure this is locked in there so that when we get pressure, even 1600 PSI, that this thing doesn't fly off and get lost or damage anything. I'm going to briefly go over the cord. I did not have to hook up an extension cord because this is a 35 foot cord. There is no way I'm using 35 feet of cord right now. But anyway, we're going to hook up our incoming water after we pick up this soap. And I'll show you that in a minute. Or I'm going to get off camera and do this because. Okay, so I am now ready to pressure wash the first mower with this unit. I have my soap solution hooked up to this line. This is my turtle wax, wash and wax solution. That way it makes it look nice and shiny. I gotta have my water running. I have my gun hooked up. And now we are ready to go. I did decide to switch the tip over to the high, so a little bit of a high pressure tip because this deck was a little bit dirtier. So we're just going to start spraying this. Making this look way better. I got some dry off towels in the box. I picked up some dry off towels at a discount store. They are like the towels that, are the, that they use at fast food restaurants. By the way, I'd kind of have that as a day job, so that's how I know. Oh yeah, all oh, that dirt's going away. And now please make sure that you're not getting water on near this air box. That way that way your mower won't sputter and putter because there's water in the car. I'm doing my due diligence to keep water away from this air box. I think this little unit's good for what I needed it to do. I'm going to disconnect the soap too and so I can clean off, clean it off and get ready to dry the mower. Now when you have soap hooked up, you always have it hooked up with the filter in. I'm just going to pull this off of here because we don't need it now. So I'm just going to put like a low, just spray this out so it gets all of the soap out of my lines.
We're just going to spray this off like so. That way it'll look way nicer, way cleaner. That's how you make your money doing this. When you're selling mowers, you got to keep them clean. That's why that was the whole point in me getting this machine. Just make sure you're blowing all this dirt out of here. Okay, so now I am going to dry this off with some of these drying towels. And it should look pretty good after this. And I do have a bag I'm going to put with this, of course. With quite a bunch of those bags. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to guide you in buying a small pressure washer for small duty jobs. I mean, I am going to use this quite a bit, but... I don't really need a lot of power to do this, so that's why I bought that's why I chose what I did. I thank you for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day and I will be back soon.